In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're going to look at the BSOD, Windows Trojan, or Blue Screen of Death, as it's abbreviated for. And before we get too far, let's take a look at some interesting details it has in its version history. i my mouse pointer here. So we see it's an application that's about 116 kilobytes in size. But we go to the version history, we find a couple of interesting details. It says version 1.0, copyright 2001, but the description and copyright are all blanked out. If we look down in our other items, again, some of them are kind of hidden out. It's interesting that its internal name is black. I don't know why. But the program language is Chinese from People's Republic of China, so that kind of gives us a clue potentially of where this Trojan originated. No legal trademarks. Apparently the original name of the file that's infected with BSOD is called black, but it may have been specifically written that way. Nothing else, just product version 1.0, blah blah blah. So if you somehow pick up this Trojan and you execute it, it pops up with this fake blue screen of death. And yeah, it tells you it's a fatal exception, has occurred at a certain address, which is completely irrelevant. And terminate the current application or control it to leave to restart the computer. Of course, if you press a key to try to get out of it, it just keeps coming back and won't let you use the computer. In fact, now it's not allowing you to do anything. Now, if anyone has seen an, the actual Windows 9X sys OS of Blue Screens of Death, they don't look like this. They're a little more detailed with actual crash data and the overall appearance are different. This is just a blue background that someone has put a typeface on. So it's not really a true crash screen. But it's been set up to kind of make it look like that to someone that doesn't know what they look like and also to simulate the crash screen where you can't get out of it. So if we try control alt delete I can't even use control alt delete because it has locked that out as well, so we have to do a hard reset. So after you perform a reset and get back into Windows here, we'll probably find that the Trojan actually loads up on the startup of Windows, so let's let it load here. And as you see, the fake BSOD pops up again. Well, we briefly saw that our Microsoft Office toolbar has popped up, so you can tell that it's not a true crash screen because our Office shortcut, Office shortcut bar is on top of this fake display here. But now that I press the menu button, it now goes back to the layer, but I can even access my start menu a little bit. Again, these are obvious clues that tell you that it's not a true crash screen. But now I can't access the start menu again. So what this BSOD Trojan has done is not only does, is it displaying this fake BSOD, but it has dropped a file to the Windows directory and then created a Windows registry entry so that it always runs at Windows startup. So let's go into safe mode so I can show you that dropped file and the registry entry. So loading up into safe mode here. And go into my computer. So as I said, the one thing it has done when you first run it is it drops a file to the Windows directory, which is the BSOD that it loads on startup, which gives us that same fake BSOD screen and here it is as you can tell from the frog icon that it's just a copy of what we have on the desktop 
right here, which is what we started with. So take that and again it's underscore system.exe. So it's trying to make it look like some kind of system component. Go ahead and delete that. And then let's go into the registry using rig edit. Open this up some more. And let's go to HK local machine software. Microsoft and then look for Windows current version and then we're gonna look for run because that's where things at startup go and as you see we have this entry for underscore system points right to that file that we deleted delete that registry entry let's go ahead and restart the system now and now we shouldn't have any problems.